Hello again and welcome to this series where we are discussing object oriented programming concepts, design and implementation. Today we are going to talk about another object oriented design pattern called as builder pattern. Builder pattern is used to build complex objects step by step using simpler objects. The purpose behind doing this is that to hide the complex implementation of creating that complex object from the client code. Usually this is used for constructing composite objects. Composite object means, let's suppose uh, there is a class A. This class A is actually composed of class B, C, D, like three or four more objects, right? So if client code, we are trying to create object of A, we have two approaches. One, based on certain condition, it will be composed of either B, C, D or all of them, right? So that complex logic of first creating B, then C, then D, then composing them together to create A and then using A could be put in the client code or we can extract it out into another component called as builder. So this is precisely what we are going to do. We are going to create a builder which will take care of that complex logic of creating the composite complex object and isolate that logic from the client side. So let's do that. Let's take an example from our tennis court booking application. In the video of decorator pattern, we gave ourselves functionality of doing different kinds of booking that is it could be a simple booking. Booking was of type individual code booking. Coaching session. So you could have coaching session, right? We also had lifetime members. Group booking is one more type of, type of booking that we can, we are allowing, right? In the scenario of all these three bookings, we want to send notifications, right? Notifications about the details of the booking. To whom can we send this notification? So we can send this notification to the security person present on the court, right? Who can permit or not permit the entry of the members. Uh, member itself who have done the booking, members. Then we have coach, right? In case you have booked coaching session, we'll have to notify coach. And then we have, let's say, let's say facility manager now in case of individual booking by members we only need to send notification to security person and member itself right security person and member because coach is not involved and facility manager doesn't need to be bothered about this in case of coaching session we need to notify security person member and coach all three of them right because Coach is going to conduct the session, member is going to attend the session and security person must know session is happening between coach and member. In case of lifetime members group booking, we want to in inform or notify security person, obviously members, coach and facility manager also because in that case, these customers are special customers for the tennis complex. So the facility manager must be kept in loop that lifetime members are having a group session on certain so and so day. Coach, because in this kind of booking, we have decided that we'll make sure that one coach is available for the lifetime members group booking in case they need him, right? So coach has to be kept in loop, members obviously and security person. So you see, creation of this notification object, right, can involve different stakeholders based on the type of booking. We can further complicate this and it will get complicated. For example, security person do not use emails usually. So they will need SMS notification. Members will need SMS and email both, right? Coach will need SMS for sure and let's say email to whereas facility manager will only need email notification first stakeholders are different 
for different kinds of booking and then mechanisms are also different so safe to say that after you create booking in your this kind while creating the notification you have a lot of things to consider so in the, this case the way i'm going to design this problem is that my notification object will be a composite object right and then based on the conditions i will choose the correct composition let us see how can we use builder pattern to solve this problem so this is my client code client code is nothing but the place where we are going to we are going to need to send the notification so it will usually happen after let's say we create a booking object booking object of some kind right and we say b dot save right so we have created booking right now we need to send notifications regarding about this booking my notification class is going to be something like this prior to that i'll write my lowest level object that is i have a abstract class called as personal notification right it will have a method called as send notification this is the abstract method i'm deriving four concrete classes from this security notification member notification coach notification manager notification right they all will have to implement this send notification method so here security will only send the sms coach send notification it will have sms plus email of course this itself is a design problem we can't have duplication of sms and email code in this classes but we will solve it when we are doing the implementation of this right because we don't have scope to discuss all that right now manager in its send notification implementation it will only have email right and member in its send notification will have sms plus email now so these are my concrete implementation of notification security notification coach notification member notification and manager notification my notification class will be composition so i'll say array list it will be a array list of personal notification right i will denote it by array you know in class diagram now this will also require the context of the booking this booking context will also be used here we need the booking context so because who has done booking at on what date at what time all these details can be obtained from the booking context so classes will get the booking context from the parent class that booking context will be passed to the array list members further we'll have one notify method here the notify method will be very simple for each element of this list let's call it as m list right right we'll say m dot send notification the notification right and i'll pass the context of booking to that right so i'll call invoke the send notification method of for each participant in this list which will be of base type this could be any of this right now as we discussed in the beginning depending on the type of booking whether booking is a individual member booking coaching session or a group booking by lifetime members we will send notification to some of them or all of them depends on the type of booking so that code of deciding right how to build this notification what will be the composition of this notification class will it be consisting of only security and member or will it have security member and coach or will it have security member coach and manager depends on type of booking so we can write all that code if this then array list will have this and if not then array list will have these if not in other type array list will have these so instead because we are using builder pattern we'll remove that responsibility from client 
and push it onto the builder. So we'll create a builder notification builder. So we'll create another entity. Let's keep the static methods. So first method will be it's a build notification and it will require a booking. So this will return actually a notification because this is building notification. The return type of this method will be notification. So if B dot type equal equal to individual, so we'll write for all the possibilities, we'll write separate private methods. So we'll say notification will be written type. Right? Again, one method will be build individual uh, booking notification. So it will also have a booking instance. And here we'll create one notification. Let's say notification n equal to new notification because this is a individual booking right individual uh, member booking the notification should go to security person and member itself so we'll say mlist dot add so we'll create one uh, new security notification right and n dot mlist dot add new member notification n dot booking equal to whatever booking i have received so this is for individual code booking now we have seen other type that is coaching session so similarly we'll write another helper method here let's say it will return notification coaching booking right this will also require a booking context that will get from the client code and in this also we'll create one notification object new n equal to new notification as i told you previously if it is a coaching session we'll have to send the notification to security person member and coach so in this case we'll say new security notification then we'll say n dot m list dot add new member notification and then we'll say n dot m list dot add new coach notification and we'll also pass on the booking context so n dot booking equal to b right and we'll obviously say return n and return n so if booking type is individual we'll call this method We'll say return uh, build individual booking and we'll pass on this context else if type b dot type equal equal to coaching return coaching booking notification i should have changed the name i know that again i'm pressed for the space else we also have to write one more method remember for lifetime members doing group booking in that case, we'll have to send it to security, member, coach, and manager. So it will be very similar function to this. We'll write one more function, which will return notification object. And it will obviously build that notification object. MList, that is array list of type personal notification. It will add one instance each of security, member, coach, and manager. And we'll build that object and return it. Right, so I'll just call it. I won't write that method. Turn group booking B, which will build the object of notification to be sent for group booking. After doing all this hard work in our builder class, in the client code, we have to do almost nothing. We'll say notification n, notification n, a new object equal to notification builder dot. This is static method, right? So return type is this build notification build notification so i'll again shortcut i'll use shortcut for it right build notification and it requires a booking context so whatever new booking we have just saved we'll pass that here right this notification builder dot build notification method will take into consideration what kind of booking it is whether it's individual coaching or group booking based on which it will invoke the helper method which will then build this notification class for you with correct composition of amongst this concrete behaviors of personal notification 
after building that notification object will return that object here and eventually this method will return here so once you get this all you got to do is you have to say n dot notify that's it so look at the client code now it's almost nothing like it's a one line code or two lines code you have the booking member has done the booking at this point of code you have saved the booking just saved the booking the next logical step is to send the corresponding notifications regarding that booking so here in my client code i'm just saying notification n equal to i'm calling this builder class static method build notification and i'll pass my booking instance to it and i'll get the correctly built instance of notification class once i get it i'll just call the notify method for the notification class that's all i do in client right so look at this complex logic that we have hidden we have abstracted from the client it has just taken care of saving or creating the booking and once it has created the booking it is just trying to get a correct notification instance using this builder and it will invoke the notify method on that notify method on that notification instance that's all client for it it's very simple here we are taking the bulk responsibility of deciding what will be the composition of this complex notification object the notification object will consist of which of these concrete implementations i know this could be a bit overwhelming but the essence of this pattern is that you you are trying to create a complex object using simpler objects it's a composition of simple objects and that process of creating a complex object using simple objects is abstracted into a builder and thus efficiently decoupled from the client who is consuming it right so tomorrow we decide we'll change the rules we'll change the requirement for lifetime group booking we won't provide coach no we can't afford it so in that case we'll just change this code here somewhere we'll remove that object from the composition but client will have no effect client code will remain as it is because it doesn't know that it just expects builder to build the correct object for it and then it will just call the notify method cool so this is builder pattern